Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw, and I'm here in Mystic, Connecticut at the Whalers Inn, and I'm with Amanda Arling, who is the president of this wonderful inn and its adjacent restaurant. Now, we're here in a trip through New England, and we've had, had some wonderful experiences, and this is the last stop on the line, but it is one of the best. And we're going to find out all about the Whalers Inn from Amanda on Insider Travel Report. Now, Amanda, first of all, thank you for hosting me. It's been great to be, I mean, sadly, only one night, uh, but I've been fed really well. Uh, uh, you're a wonderful restaurant downstairs. And uh, talk a little bit about uh, the history of the Whalers Inn. Uh, 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 it, it has been an inn, but it was pretty recently renovated, right? Yes. Thank you so much for joining us, first of all. We're happy to have you here. Uh, the Whalers Inn, uh, we've been a site of hospitality for well over 100 years, but in its most recent renaissance as a hotel from the 1960s. Yeah, so, but, and how recently was it renovated? Because I know the rooms are all beautifully well appointed and really, you know, up to date, lots of great features. So we've actually just completed our last round of renovations uh, last year. So up to this point, we've renovated all of our buildings. Uh, we've actually expanded the property. Uh, we've relocated our lobby, and we've now most recently opened our restaurant, The Shipwright's Daughter. Well, we're going to talk about that in a second, but talk a little bit about the uh, variety of accommodations and the types of uh, rooms and suites you offer. So we have 45 rooms on site across five buildings. Uh, we have a variety of rooms available to really appeal to many different traveler types and styles. We have everything from um, you know, queen guest rooms overlooking the river with fireplaces like we're in right now. And we have king guest rooms, rooms with two beds. And my personal favorite, we do have junior suites, which are perfect for families traveling with young kids. They come equipped with youth-sized bunk beds, which are always a hit with families. That sounds wonderful. And uh, my room is actually, we're in a similar room to what I had last night. You got great, great amenities in the bathroom. The, the tub is actually a pretty amazing too. It's so amazing. I actually bought one for my own house. <laughs> yeah, they have, you have a, it has a rain shower, but also has sort of a, a jacuzzi type feature too, right? Yeah, they're very popular. They feature air jet soaking tubs, rain showers, and really just very conducive for R&R &R and relaxing while you're on your getaway. And the beds are great too, although they're high. You actually have to have a little steps if you want to go up to them. I, I discovered that. It recalls all the old inns I've ever been in, right? I think that one of the unique things about our property is we've got this great mix of uh, historic features and historic aesthetic with kind of modern day charm. So those beds are a little bit of a throwback when you have to climb up a ladder to get into them. Yeah, I know. Last night I had to remember, oh, I have to, I have, there's, there's steps there. Right? <laughs> so, but I, I got okay. I was okay. But uh, talk a little bit about, uh, you said you have how many buildings in the, in, in the end? So we have five buildings total with 45 guest rooms. Wow, that's all. That's big. And also, as you said, you just opened uh, Shipwright's Daughter, your restaurant. Talk a little bit about that restaurant, if you could. I, I was lucky enough to try a, a lot of different great hors d'oeuvres. In fact, I was full at the end of it. Uh, and then I had breakfast there uh, this morning. So it's, it's really a nice, nice place to relax and, and eat, eat very well. well. I'm very glad you've enjoyed it. So we had this idea of opening our own food and beverage program about two, two and a half years ago now. It's been a long evolution to get where we are today. Um, we never anticipated opening in the middle of a global pandemic, but it's been a great success so far. Uh, the restaurant is run under the stewardship of executive chef David Standridge. He's I met him last night. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. He's absolutely fantastic. He hails from New York City, where he was professionally trained and most recently coming from Cafe Clover. No, that's great. It's a wonderful addition. And, and yes, to hear that you did it during the pandemic, pandemic. Uh, as I was talking to a few other people, maybe said it had to go in easy, it's probably a good way because you're not getting, but you seem to, you had a lot of people, not a lot, but you were, uh, you seem to have pretty good business there. It's been wildly successful so far. We're very happy for what we've accomplished in a pretty short time, given some of the limitations of COVID, uh, but every day is getting busier and every day we're growing. Now, you also obviously have had to adapt to all the protocols for COVID and uh, t tell us a little bit about how you approach this. So the hotel, the restaurant, and our community as a whole was able to pivot very quickly. I think Mystic in general is very conducive to being COVID conscious. So many of our activities are outdoor based. It's a town that's really conducive to walking and exploring by foot. So I think that's one of the unique things about our community. Uh, interestingly enough though, when the CDC and varying state and federal guidelines were released about hospitality, about the levels of cleanliness and the levels of service you have to provide, we honestly found we were already there. Mm -hmm. We have a, a long standing history of attention to detail and that's one of 
I think the best parts of our property. Uh, so we didn't have to pivot too much in that regard. Um, we have implemented some changes such as contactless check-in where you can actually be checked in outside. So right. you don't even have to come into, your, into the lobby if that's not something you're comfortable with. We do provide hand sanitizer in the rooms and um, we've really adapted the rooms to kind of avoid some of those high touch items in the rooms as well. And nor normally we'd be wearing masks, but we thought for this interview we'd just take a little break, but we'll be we'll go get back to that in a little while. Now tell me a little bit about what you what guests do here. I mean, you mentioned the town which is literally uh, just over the bridge, it's a drawbridge where they, you know, you get all your boats coming through. If you, you're, you're out of luck, if, you, if the drawbridge is up, you have to wait a little while. Uh, and you also have to go, because of COVID, you have to go uh, one way on the bridge, if I saw. But tell us a little bit about the town, and, and I, I assume that's one of the big things people do, is just explore the town. So Mystic's a gem. It's really special, and we're located right in the heart of it. Uh, our lobby actually overlooks the iconic drawbridge, which is probably one of the most photographed areas in town. Um, there's something for everybody here, and Mystic is really a year-round destination. Uh, we are just steps within dozens of shops, restaurants, cafes, bars, museums. And then if you cast that net a little bit wider, we have access to wineries, we have access to breweries, we have access to world-class casinos that have incredible sporting events, um, music, uh, and other attractions. So and there's a little bit of everything. You have Mystic Aquarium, which is famous really, and Mystic Museum Art here. It's, it, there's really so much to do, and, and wonderful little shops. And and, and Mystic Pizza, which everybody's going to say, you've been in Mystic, so I saw Mystic Pizza is here too. And ironically, there, something must have been telling me this, that last night, the other night, I was watching HBO and Mystic Pizza was on, so I watched a little bit of it. So, Definitely iconic, for sure. Thank you, Julia Roberts. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, what's your background in terms of uh, this? Is, you, you've been kind of, how long have you been at the end now? So I joined the team in 2016 as the general manager of the hotel, and we quickly quickly realized that we had a huge vision for this property uh, and our involvement in the community. And pretty rapidly, we realized my scope of work extended beyond just daily hotel uh, operations. So. About a year and a half ago, I moved into the role as president of the company, uh, where I could really focus on expanding and enhancing both the restaurant and the hotel as well. Prior to that, I worked for an adventure travel company based out of Berkeley, California. Oh, great. So you've had a hospitality program, and now now you're kind of like the mayor of Mystic, I guess, right? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't go quite that far, but it's wonderful to be involved in such an incredible community. Um, we have some amazing, inspiring, uh, women and men that run small businesses and are just really involved in this area. No, and it is a wonderful place. I have been here before. I'm not too far away, but this is the, really the first time I've really experienced the downtown. I used to go to the Mystic Aquarium, Aquarium and things like that, but this is different. And, and we can hear in the background, the drawbridge is 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 clanging and it's, it's, ready, it's about ready to go up, but it's a wonderful, wonderful location. Now, for uh, our, our viewers, for travel advisors, how would you suggest that they work with you to uh, get their, their uh, clients booked here? That's a great question. I think one of the things that sets our property apart is that we, by design, we don't have a concierge. Uh, we make sure that every single one of our staff members is capable and able of creating an amazing crafted and curated experience for every guest that walks through that door. That's our philosophy here. We don't just want our guests to have a good experience when they're at the hotel. We want our guests to have a good experience when they're in our community as a whole. Um, so anyone looking to book a stay with us, whether it's through a, tra a travel advisor or on their own, reach out to us, give us a call. Our team is incredible at what they do, mm -hmm. and they'll make sure that your guest has a once in a lifetime memorable experience while visiting Mystic. Well, I'm taking some memorable experiences back back with me because I went to a, a donut store down the block called Young Buns, where uh, the donuts are not exactly your usual ones, and I kind of had to rely on the the person serving me. Said, "So, what did you like?" And so, so uh, I'm taking those home. I haven't eaten them because I had breakfast with you first. So maybe at some point on the road back, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll partake and, and maybe give uh, my partner Alan. You may get one. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Now, uh, anything else you'd like to say to all our travel advisors out there about? Uh, the Whalers Inn and Mystic? Mystic's open for business. Uh, we've had one of the busiest summers we've ever had, and we really look forward to hosting you and your guests soon. Thank you, Amanda, for hosting me. It's been wonderful. I got to come back and see the rest. And now the sun's come out, and uh, it's looking great. Uh, again, thank you for taking the time to, to speak with us. Thank you, and enjoy those donuts. <laughs> I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report. <laughs>